Today I want to show you how you can get hinting and auto-completion working when you're writing GSAP code. But first, are you aware of the GSAP cheat sheet? It provides short descriptions with code samples of various parts of GSAP. You can also click on parts to be linked to the relevant parts of the docs. Auto-completion and hinting is even more helpful because it gives you similar help but right in your editor. Once you get your environment set up like I show in this video, you'll be able to start typing GSAP code, such as gsap.f. It will show you all of the methods and properties available matching that code. To select between matches, use the up and down arrow keys. To autocomplete the selected match, just press tab or enter. Once you've initialized a function, it will show you a short description of that method and the syntax that you can use. Additionally, if you hover a method later, it'll show you that same description. This is incredibly helpful no matter what level of developer you are, but is especially helpful if you're just starting to use GSAP because you don't have to go back and forth between your editor and the GreenSock documentation. GSAP 3 comes with files called TypeScript declaration files. All you need to know about these files for the sake of getting autocompletion and hinting working is that TypeScript declaration files tell your editor what GSAP methods and properties are available and what data types they expect, like strings, numbers, objects, etc. Different text editors have different levels of TypeScript support, and therefore different levels of support for autocompletion and hinting. For GSAP autocompletion and hinting, we recommend using VS Code or WebStorm, because of the editors that we've tried, it's easiest to get hinting working in them. In this video, I'll be using Visual Studio Code, or VS Code. If you use a different editor, you may be able to still get autocompletion and hinting working, but it may require installing an additional package to add support for TypeScript, or other steps. We list a couple of those packages in the video's description. If you're using modules, it's super simple to get autocompletion and hinting working in VS Code and WebStorm. Here I have the default Create React app. The only changes I've made is adding a ref for the header and added a use effect to run when the component loads the first time. To get hinting working in an environment like this, simply install GSAP by doing npm install GSAP or yarn add or whatever. Then import GSAP into your file by doing import GSAP from GSAP and then start typing. So here we can say gsap.from, and it'll autocomplete for us. To get autocompletion and hinting working using a plain old JavaScript file, there's a couple of additional steps. First, we need to download the gsap zip file from the GreenSock website. You can do that simply by clicking the zip button on the GreenSock homepage. Make sure that you're logged in so that you get all the files that you have access to. If you're a Club GreenSock member, then those files will be included. Even if you're not a Club GreenSock member, you'll automatically get access to customies if you make an account on GreenSock.com. Now that you've loaded the GSAP zip file, unzip it. Open the new directory, and then open the npm install this directory. Here you'll see a .tgz file. This is what you should install if you have a modules environment. We talk more about that in the modules installation video. In our case now, we want to unzip this file. Once it's unzipped, open up the package directory and copy the types directory and paste that into your project. Going back to my text editor, you can see that the types directory is now included. The last step is to create an empty file and to name it jsconfig.json. You don't have to put any content inside of it. Adding this file makes our editor check for any TypeScript declaration files in our directory. Now in any .js files that you have, you can use GSAP's autocompletion and hinting. You might need to restart your text editor between adding the JS config and the autocompletion working. Before GSAP 3, GSAP didn't have official TypeScript declaration files, so people commonly used ones from definitely typed, also known as at types. Now that GSAP 3 does have official TypeScript declaration files, you should not use the at types declarations. They are old and will not work in GSAP 3. If you find errors in the TypeScript declaration files, find that some method is missing, or doesn't have a good description, please let us know. You can create a post in the GreenSock forums at greensock.com forums, or you can create an issue on GitHub. Either way is fine with us. As always, if you are having trouble or have any questions, feel free to post in the GreenSock forums. Happy tweeting!